What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this situation with Ty Lawson, former UNC guard, uh, NBA player who's been playing overseas. Apparently he has been banned for life for an Instagram post as you can see what he is saying and doing right there. <laughs> And man, this is uh, this is crazy. And I, I'm gonna tell you why th why this whole situation with Ty Lawson is crazy. Because here you have a guy, right, who's playing in a different country. Now you know people have their criticisms of America, but you would think that this is something that we see all the time over on the, in the states, right? We see these guys, these athletes, post themselves at the script club with women and it's no big deal right this is this is what we allow over here it's normal right but what people don't understand is in other countries if you are a foreigner they're not going to allow you and i said this in the live stream last night they're not going to allow you to degrade their women they're not and ty lawson found that out the hard way he found out the hard way that they're not gonna just let you go overseas and just act any type of way towards their women let's get into this actually this article from the new york post all right it says former nba player ty lawson has been banned from the chinese basketball association after allegedly making derogatory and offensive instagram posts regarding chinese women according to multiple reports the i guess it's the fuan sturgeons that's how you said Sturgeons. Uh, the Chinese team uh, that Lawson had uh, has played for since 2019. Says 32-year-old Lawson will no longer be on the team, serving uh, severing ties with the guard because of inappropriate comments he allegedly made. Uh, he allegedly posted on social media. Let me let y'all know something. All you people that have ignored what their government has done as far as when it comes to their dealings with Hong Kong and other places. Also, the fact that they have things going on over there that are not good and that you have NBA players who have not said anything against. This is the type of government that you don't want over here in America, okay? You don't want this type of government over here that could literally look at your Instagram posts and ban you from playing sports, even though he is a foreigner to them. Uh, still, this is the type of lives that people have to, this is what they have to deal with over there. They have to deal with government, constant government intrusion because that's their setup of their government. And you have people who praise them. You have people ignore them. They ignore how they act towards us, especially as melanated people, the things that they have said and done to us over there. The fact that they don't want us dealing with their women. I got an email today from a guy and he was talking about how there are, there are guys, I guess, African college students that went over and stayed over there and how when they dated those Asian females, uh, the, 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 the men there felt some type of way. They don't want, especially us melanated men dating their women. And that's what a lot of us, we be, we're fed this nonsense. Okay. This propaganda that tries to put certain countries in a certain light when the reality is totally different. Now, do I, uh, think that he should be accountable for what he posts. Yeah, but I do believe that he is ignorant. I think Ty Lawson in that situation was a bit ignorant to the way that their government is, you know? Uh, let's see. The Sturgeons, at least I said, uh, said in a statement that Lawson, who played in the NBA for eight seasons from 2009 to 2017, posted inappropriate comments on September 18, calling it a violation of the team's social responsibilities and core values policy. Well, if he knew about this policy and still posted what he posted, then that is on him. But again, he's coming from a place of ignorance. He thinks that what goes on here, 
and what he puts on social media here in the States that he can do that over there. And I think that he is slowly but surely coming to the reality that no, no, that's not how it works, bro. That's, that's not how it works. You cannot talk about uh, what goes on in their country, uh, whether you, uh, if, especially if you don't agree with it, but also you cannot speak out uh, like I said against the government, you cannot be out there flaunting the fact that you're dating their women because they don't like that. Even though they are on the continent of Africa and they're marrying and dating women over there, they don't want you coming over to their country dating and marrying their women on their soil. Okay? This is why you should not believe this media propaganda that tries to make light or ignore the things that go on over there. You know? His inappropriate words were inconsistent with the social responsibilities and values abided by our club and have brought serious adverse social impacts to the club and the league. Really now. We will not sign him for the new season, Sturgeon said in a statement according to the Chinese State News Agency. Uh, let's see. The team did not say more about the incident, just that Lawson wouldn't be signed to a new deal. They are, they're not trying to use the ban word. They're just saying, well, we're not going to resign them. But come on, man. They're banning this guy. Uh, let's see. Lawson, who hasn't commented on his departure, led uh, the team to the playoffs last season, has been in China since the end of the season. NBA sources told Sports Illustrated that alcohol may have been a factor in the alleged post. Lawson has been arrested four times for driving while intoxicated. The last uh, taking place in 2015. Yeah, Ty Lawson, Ty Lawson has a history with alcohol going back to his uh, college years. That's sort of been like a rep on him. And that might have hindered his NBA career because he he could possibly still help an NBA team. But if they feel like you're not going to be of help, you're going to be a detriment, then you're going to have to play uh, overseas. They have this core belief, quote unquote, you know, thing in their contracts. Um, but I still think that it has a lot more to do with the perception. Again, they do not want black athletes especially from the united states going over to their country and treating their women like we treat our women over here they just they are not about that you know lawson was the first round pick in the 2009 nba draft selected 18th by minnesota timberwolves before being traded to the denver nuggets lawson averaged 12 points and six assists per game in his nba career which included stops with houston uh, indiana sacramento he also was a star at north carolina and was named AC Player of the Year in 2009 as a junior. Yeah, they are not. Yeah, they're not going to allow us to go over to their country to talk crazy uh, or be. You know, I don't say talk crazy, but just to act crazy and ignorant and like we do here. They're not going to allow that in their countries. They don't want Westernization in their country. They don't want their women acting like the women over here. You know, domineering, feminist minded, weak males, you know. Now this says, and this is according to 24-7 Sports, Ty Lawson responds to allegations, okay? Former North Carolina star point guard Ty Lawson was reportedly banned from the Chinese Basketball Association on Saturday after the 33-year-old posted a, co a couple of explicit messages and photos on his Instagram story. On Sunday, Lawson went back onto his Instagram story to respond to the allegations uh, and what he said on it. All right, well, I was told not to address this, but I don't know, I got to stick up for myself. Lawson said in his Instagram story, I was probably the least uh, discriminatory guy you have ever met in life. I have fun with everybody. Cakes means that she has a nice body. That's it. Well, see, they don't see it that way, Ty. Now, I've been, like I said, I've been on Ty's Insta. Ty's a, he's a jokester. You can tell he likes to joke around and have fun. 
But see, that's the thing, man. You can talk about the cakes of, of the melanated woman here or the white woman here, but you can't go over there to China with that same energy. You just can't. <laughs> you can't go over there with that type of energy, man. They're not going to allow it. They're not going to let you talk about how thick their women are. Okay? Look at the prime example of how they see us look at the star wars poster right look how they minimize the finn character even though a lot of people weren't a big fan of the finn character they minimized it to where you cannot see a black face on that poster that's just how they are they people talk about america being very discriminatory towards people have you not been to china or some of these other countries have you not been there and not have seen how they have treated people who do not look like them you know oh, it says everybody talking about old Thai is discriminatory or oh my god get him out of china he's an n-word i am like bruh you're taking it too far y'all wow but i'm going to say at the same time i meant no disrespect to all the discriminators and the disrespect that is coming towards me is wild. Yeah, man, that's why I, I tell y'all, man, you think America's bad. You have not seen bad. You have not seen how how it could truly be. Because we are truly, we, we truly live in a bubble, if you really want to look at it. We live in a bubble. I mean, we don't understand how the world is, man. We don't understand how people really view us, especially as melanated people, and how they see us. They don't want us around their women. They don't want our culture influencing them and their generations of people. They're good with us staying here and doing what we're doing to each other. That's how you know that we have freedoms in this country that no other place has. And Ty Lawson found that out the hard way unfortunately